Welcome to the City Hydro Pea Grow Along, day number three. Talk a little bit about peas that can be done this way. Pretty much any pea or bean can be done this way. Whether it's a mung bean, a Australian field pea, a speckled pea, an aphila pea, or the sprouting peas that we use. Any kind of pea or bean um, can be done in the same very same process. So let's list the lid off here and see what we got going on in here, the lid. So we still got a lot of moisture on the lid, which is really good. Nice and moist. And the peas are starting to crack open. They're starting to get their leg there, their first root. Still a little bit of water on the bottom of the, on the peas. Let's zoom in here a little bit and get you a better look at what the peas actually look like. Um, so as we're zooming in here, you can see the roots are starting to pop out. They're starting to curve down. They'll be going down looking for water down through the pad. Um, if the roots aren't going down, you're not watering enough. Or if the roots have these little spikes on them, you're not watering enough. And we'll, I'll try to get some trays to develop the spikes and some issues with watering so we can cover that in, these, um, in this grow along. But they're looking amazing. Um, I love growing peas. Peas are really easy to grow and they're, and they're a great value. I mean, you're looking at a what? About a 90 cent to a dollar 25 per pound product um, when you're buying 25 pounds or more it, it's an amazing thing I mean you, your tray is costing you a lot less than say an arugula or a kale or a leek or something else and and the chefs love it we only grow one kind of, of peas here on uh, the sprouting pea we used to grow Australian field peas uh, speckled peas and then uh, some beans mung beans and dragon's fire or dragon's breath or dragon's fire pea, uh, pea beans um, but we cut it down to one kind um, because it has a longer shelf life and the chefs really like the tentacles on it the little tendrils that stick out and stuff like that that's actually a hybrid of the pea so as the harvesters can actually pick up those peas so let's zoom back out here and we'll do our watering having some issues today playing with the camera. It's been a long week and it's just starting. So we're going to do a 30 second spraying of the tray itself and then the lid as well uh, for 10 seconds. So it's again it's that what I like to call the Earl Shry paint job. Nice and moist getting everything really nice and wet. We want those roots to go down inside the coconut fiber and down into the bottom so they build up really nicely in the tray and you notice we seed very densely I mean to me when a chef or a client picks this up they want to see a dense forest of greens very hard to see through from one side of our pad to the other side of our pad with the peas in it Okay, 30 seconds, a little bit extra. Don't ever be afraid to give it a little bit extra water with the peas or beans. Um, it's fine. So I'm going to give this the lid a spring for 10 seconds. Make it nice and moist. Cover it up. And it's back up on the germination rack until tomorrow everybody have an awesome day and happy growing thank you for all your support